Good morning children. Hope all of you are fine. In the previous class we have discussed about classification of industries. Today we will discuss about the factors affecting the location of industries. So children, what are the factors affecting the location of industries? They are the availability of raw material, land, water, labor, power, capital, transport and market. So almost all industries are situated where some or all of these factors are easily available. Next, we will discuss about the industrial system. What is an industrial system? An industrial system consists of inputs, processes and outputs. An industrial system consists of inputs, processes and outputs. The inputs are the raw materials, labor and cost of lands, transport, power and other infrastructures. Then the processes include a wide range of activities that convert the raw material into finished products. The output are the end products. For example, in the case of textile industry, the inputs may be cotton, human labor, factory and transport cost. The different processes include the production of shirt or the ginning, spinning, weaving, dyeing and printing. Then the output is the shirt. Children, what is industrial regions? Industrial regions emerge when a number of industries locate close to each other and share the benefits of their closeness. India has several industrial regions like Mumbai, Pune cluster, Bangalore, Tamil Nadu region, Hooghly region, Ahmedabad, Baroda region, uh, Chota Nagpur industrial belt, uh, Vishagapatnam Gundur belt, then uh, Kollam Tiruvannadapuram industrial cluster, etc. Children, have you ever heard about industrial disasters? In industries, accidents or disasters mainly occur due to technical failures or irresponsible handling of hazardous material. One of the worst industrial disasters of all time occurred in Bhopal on 3rd December 1984. It was a technological accident in which a huge poisonous methyl isocyanate gas along with hydrogen cyanide and other reaction products leaked out of the pesticide factory of Union Carpet. The official death toll was 3598 in 1989. So, in order to reduce the risk due to the industrial disasters, certain measures need to be taken. Such as densely populated residential areas should be separated far away from the industrial areas. Fire warning and fighting system should be improved. Storage capacity of toxic substances should be limited. Pollution dispersion qualities in the industries should be improved. Our next topic is major industries. The world's major industries are the iron and steel industry, textile industry and the information technology. Among this, iron and steel and textile industries are known as the older industries. While information technology is an emerging industry. Emerging industries are also known as sunrise industries. These include information technology, wellness, hospitality and knowledge. Let me conclude today's session. For your reference, I have uploaded the URL. Go through it. Notes are also attached along with this 
take it down a test question paper is also there try it yourself thank you